dear students this is also a moment of joy and satisfaction for your families and friends guardians and mentors who have been of immense support in your journey i congratulate all the degree recipients and model winners present here today i am told that out of 7116 students studying here about 1518 that is about 21% are girl students i noticed that out of seven gold medals today three have gone in to our girl students as the president of india i happen to be the visitor of about 150 central institutions in most of the convocations i attend across the country i notice that our girls are out signing our voice and winning more gold medals in liberal arts humanities medical sciences law and several other areas this is indeed a heartening trend and reflect the potential of our daughters however it has been observed that the enrollment of women in technical and scientific disciplines is low according to a recent survey enrollment of women in engineering and techno and technical institutes across india is only about 20% our girls should be encouraged to pursue technical education and excel in the same manner as they do in other areas the country needs more of our girls to pursue higher education especially in science technology engineering and mathematics growth and excellence of women in technical areas will add a new dimension to our national development it will promote gender empowerment at the higher levels in the field of science and technology it will help women break the glass ceiling in one of the most important spheres in the world of 21st century ladies and gentlemen and my dear students a university and institution must contribute towards empowering the community in its surroundings i have been advocating for university social responsibility in the line with corporate social responsibility i am happy to note that nit raurkela has adopted five villages as part of unnat bharat abhiyan i am told that nit raurkela is upgrading science laboratories and providing computer education in these villages villages i am also told that a poverty alleviation research center at this campus works for the less privileged people of kalahandi balangir and koraput region of odisha i appreciate you all for these commendable initiatives I interacted with vice chancellors and directors of various central universities and institutions as part of the deliberations prior to implementation of the National Education Policy 2020. The policy envisions that engineering institutions should move towards more holistic and multidisciplinary education with increased emphasis on arts and humanities. I am happy to learn that NIT Raurkela has already adopted this approach to a certain extent. I am sure that you will take the process further and will also work towards implementing other salient features of the national education policy. One of the objectives of the national education policy is to make India a global knowledge superpower in 21st century. institutions like nit raurkela have to play a major role in achieving these national aims i once again congratulate all of you and wish you 
a very happy, successful and bright future. I also extend my best wishes to the faculty members, teaching and non-teaching staff and the family members and guardians of the graduating students on this momentous day. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you.